Hey guys, welcome to Food for Thought. This is Eddie. Um, today I'm going to be doing my maggot farm, maggot bin, whatever I want to call it. Um, and it's just a cheap and cheerful way of doing it. Um, I've seen some that are on YouTube that have got sort of pipes on the inside of it for the maggots to crawl in. And I don't understand how that. It's just going to be a bucket. Five gallon bucket, holes in the bottom for the maggots to drop out. Um, into I've got this five gallon bucket I've got some um, hose put on here so it doesn't get jammed together and I've got some I don't know if you can see that um, some meal in the bottom so that will drop into that and they will keep dry because the thing is you've got to keep maggots dry if they get damp um, they're able to crawl out and I don't want them to crawl out of this um, but I've got to, the reason why Again, why I've got this in here is I've got to have air to get in. Um, although there is, obviously, if I've got holes in the bottom for of the other one for the mics to drop out, there will be a little, you know, there will be oxygen. It's not like, but it's, I think it's more beneficial to have a little bit of air. Let me get the visitors in here already. I've got a little cricket. I don't want a cricket in there. So, lid, I'm going to put like five, I've got a like half inch, half inch drill. Um, so I'm going to get that started. So let me come back to that and I'll start building it, okay? Started. So get the, no, see, I don't, I think you know what a drill looks like, but we're going to put one, in the middle one. and then a few holes around the side da -da -da. holes and we also need holes in the bottom so we'll do the actually we'll do the, the holes around the, the edges so they'll crawl, generally crawl to the outside on the bottom so they'll drop out they'll actually crawl in a straight line they'll hit the wall and then start going sideways um, so that's why I've put them into the corners because if you just put them in in the middle whatever it's they're not gonna find them so we put them into the, the middle get rid of the wood and you just let me just pull this up There, but doesn't have to be tight. So, so luckily, obviously, with having the rabbits, I have some hay. No, that's not hay, it's straw. So you build that up. And I had normally. Oh, let me pull. I see my pretty face. Um, normally, you could with the rabbits. I would um, have liver, or you could um, keep. Um, part of the, you know, maybe the head or whatever, uh, and use that. Um, but it just so happens that I have some um, chicken that was in the, the freezer that got freezer burned. So instead of throwing it out, I'll use it to entice the flies to come over. And obviously, with the rabbitry, there's flies around and in. Even though I've got bug netting up, there's still buggers still get in. So I'm still trying to catch them. So, all I'm going to do is slice this up. It's stinky already because it's been in the fridge for a bit. So I was going to do this look before I went camping. So this is yuckies. Mm. So I'll have to clean my knife when I get back. You know, just... So nice cuts in it. 
because obviously you want flies to start laying into the meat, not just on the meat. And this is going to stink. Okay, and then get that into the bucket. So get it placed into the bucket, um, and then we'll put some more straw on top. I'm hoping this will sort of, and it'll be loose, so the flies actually got to work getting down in there. So it's all loose. So the flies have got to do their do work. Just not going to get into it. Um, so fill it up with straw. So eventually, just pull this back on top. Because obviously, it's got this. I have a bit of air gap. Put it on top. I'm actually, take this off for a Now it fits. Okay. And now we just let it sit. Um, maggots take, you know, from egg to maggot, I think it's about a week before it starts crawling out. So I'll come back in a week um, with an update and show you how this is going. Um, shout out to my neighbors, um, Dave and Caitlin. So if this does stink, please tell me. I'll shut it down. No worries. You know, I don't want to have issues. But if it stinks, let me know. So thanks very much for everybody for your support for, for Wilderness. I was going to say Wilderness Twins. We haven't been that for a while. Uh, so thanks very much for the support for our channel, Food for Thought. Um, you guys are awesome. Talk to you again later. Bye for now.